Welcome YTPC, Edwin here from Central Texas, Wednesday, middle of the week. I'm hoping you're having a good New Year, pre-New Year week, right? And off today, just came back from a local restaurant here with my family. Kids playing outside and me sitting down and enjoying a bowl right here and decided to turn on the camera and have a chat about one of my favorite blends of 2022. One of the surprises I will say, okay? Now, before I go with that, what I'm smoking today is one of my beautiful Bended style Peterson. This is a Watson style with that beautiful rustication, right? Beautiful job by Peterson with that silver stamp right there. System pipe, right? And with the pillip, just a beauty. A beauty to smoke. Great, great smoker. Having some black tea right here. Unsweet. <laughs> and today, I just wanted to bring up a blend that definitely, I've been, just to be clear, I only been smoking pipe tobacco for a year, guys. Just a year. So I do have a runway to go through and experience. So I'm very early in this game. But one tobacco that surprised me because usually with the vapors, the red Virginias, there's this profile that I really love, I really enjoy, and it's that you know tanginess or that dark fruit, that wine flavors, right? With that perig, love it. I really enjoy those profiles. And of course, with the Englishes, right, that smokiness, that earthiness, I really, really enjoy that. But usually when I go through those paths, the profiles are very similar, just more pronounced in certain areas than others, okay? But this tobacco right here that I'm going to show you is one that you know, and it did cut me by surprise because I was thinking I was going to hate it. And I'm talking about no surprises, no surprises here. The tobacco that surprised me this year to me is definitely Eight State Burley by Cornell and Dill. This was a small batch, but I think they run this every year. Maybe. I think so. I think so. They might change a little bit of the leaf, but I think they might release this every year. And man, the creaminess of that burly, the smoke, it's really creamy, really full, and I definitely enjoy that natural flavor that comes through of the burly mixed with the Virginia and Orientals in this blend right here. And what I mean by that is, you definitely get this natural chocolate tones with this naughtiness in it that is really enjoyable. And the Orientals, they bring a little bit of a earthy floral background on it that is welcome. I, I enjoy it. And I remember hearing about Burleys and how they will make your throat uh, really dry or you know people will get a little bit of this one is using white burley if my understanding is correctly and I don't get any of that it's just a really enjoyable blend I can smoke this anytime in summer now in winter it goes really well with coffee but to be fair everything goes really well with coffee right And when I don't want the smokiness of an English, 
or that tanginess or that red fruit of a pure Virginia or a vapor, man, solid, solid blend right here. The Ace Burley, Cornell and Bill. And to be fair, I did bought some Wessex Burley slices that I haven't tried yet. And I hear that's excellent as well. So like I mentioned, there's still a long path of enjoying this journey and discovering all these other flavors and tobacco mixes, right? But this is definitely a great change of pace for me. Usually when I'm in English, I'm like all English for a whole week, you know, and then I go all vapors or, you know, Perique heavy stuff all week long and then i want something in the middle that i imagine some people go with aromatics for me this is a great on the middle medium style of blend smokes really well doesn't coast your pipe so i can smoke it on my english pipes or i can smoke it on my on my virginia pipe really enjoyable again I hoping that they continue doing releases of this. I do have, I do have certain tins, several tins, I will say. And this one is one I opened recently. And my friend, Mr. Kirk from Captain Kirk channel, he highly recommends that you smoke this in a cup. Okay. That he, for him, it brings out the flavors really really well for me anywhere i smoke it is really good and again one of those surprises for me as a new pipe smoker of a blend that i can you know when i want something different i can go for it and it's just a great 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 blend right here chocolate tones naughtiness a little bit of floral from the orientals really really nice blend and just a solid choice for me. And guys, other than that, just this quick chat. I'm hoping everybody have a great new year, you know? Uh, I'll continue enjoying this pipe right here. Keep those pipe lids and hey, I'll see you in the next video. Edwin out.